sound is 50% of the experience of any movie. The process of creating the soundtracks often gets overlooked. M&E tracks, meaning music and effects, are an important task that needs to be done. In an action scene such as this, most people think that the audio was recorded while shooting, but very little of it is recorded on set. Here's a sample of what was recorded on set. There's got to be about 10 Germans in that gun placement up there. I need those guys dead yesterday. Simpson, take Ruber and Underwood. Take Ruber and Underwood and see if you can hit him from the side. Note that some whole shots were shot MOS, which means without any sound. Mostly you try to record the dialogue on set, knowing that the rest of the sound will be created in post-production. A sound effects track, which includes ambient, subtle sounds, footsteps, clothes rustling, etc., is created after the shoot. Most scenes have a natural, ambient sound that most people overlook, like the wind, birds, or vehicles. Music can reflect the emotion and intensity of a scene. All right, suppressing so fire on. on me. Now! Let's go, time. Or possibly take away from it, like this. Now! Go time! The reason you make sound effects and music tracks separate from the dialogue tracks is so that you can have all the sounds and when your film is dubbed in foreign languages, all they have to add is replaced dialogue. Like so. I thought you said there were only three or four of them! That's what Frenchie told me. Damn it, Simpson! Separate M&E tracks are required to make foreign sales of your movie in most cases.